M.M., come here. Thanks, M.M. You've brought me Journey. I knew I could count on you. Jay is waiting in the antechamber. She's nervous. Tell Delson to go easy on her. We'll see about that. Did you need me for anything else? Not right now, but I will soon. I have one more favor to ask of you. All right, I'll be waiting in the next room. My prince. Delson. Zori. It seems that the Camarilla is in danger. I am at your disposal. Your sense of duty is a credit to you, Caleb. You haven't lost your touch, I hope. The Code Red is linked to the Unification Party with the Chantry. No one there is answering anymore. It's too early to draw any conclusions. Where do you want to start? Can I... can I count on you? You have no reason to doubt me. One by one, the Ancelai heed the beckoning and go east. You're the eldest in the city now. Don't do this to me. Not now. I would be very grateful to you. And Fang. How may I be of service? Go and see Caius. With Jaragon. He's in charge of security. He may have learned something. You can count on me. You have my absolute confidence, Caleb. Mr. Underwood, I'm sorry, but my instructions are clear. You little shit! I'm just following orders. You have no idea what's at stake! My most honored sire, you're wasting your time here. I'd forgotten about your abject fawning. I call it respect. It appears that it's something that sewer rats know nothing about. Apparently, Caius feels he's entitled to refuse to see a member of the Primogen. I won't forget it.
This is the kind of thing you delegate to a retainer under normal circumstances. What matter is so urgent that you've come to see Caius yourself? If you don't mind, I choose not to entrust this task to anyone else. Tell me, you haven't introduced me to your charming protege yet. Zhu Feng. <laughs> yes, Zhu Feng, a name that's as delectable as her blood, I'm sure. Ah, you're planning to introduce her to the very select club of Galeb Bazori's progeny, aren't you? I hope that the Prince will allow me to, shortly. I hope so for your sake. Who knows? Our dear Hazel is so unpredictable. At any rate, it would be an honor for me to welcome and guide her. You will speak of nothing with her at all. Is that an order? A word of advice. Oh, pardon me. I fell out of the habit of receiving advice from you so long ago. Well, if you'll excuse me, I must end this ever so pleasant conversation. <laughs> I need to find a way to avoid losing too much money. This is a handwritten list. These names sound familiar. Mr. Bazori, can I help you? I need to see Caius. He doesn't want anyone to bother him. Prince's orders. I see. He's holed up in the server room. You'll need a pass to get in. There's one on his desk. Thank you. Try not to take too long. Can it wait? Mr. Underwood slammed his door. That's a bad sign. Blood tests from the Red Salon. She always said she preferred paper to digital. She always said she preferred paper to digital. If only Miss Rory were here. The Prince wants this floor under surveillance. I'm carrying out orders. Key card must be in there. Are you supposed to be here?
I've seen Caius use this type of card to access the servers. Luckily, it looks like everything is in order here. Please keep it down! There's no room for error. A list of ingredients and side effects. I imagine she sent you. Finally, some good news on this shitty night. What's the situation? Not good. Not good at all. The prince needs more than that. I hope you've got it. You want details? Who sounded the alert? A man named Wu. Ever heard of him? A retainer, one of Jason Moore's bodyguards. Moore? The asset manager? What was he doing at the unification party? He was supposed to answer technical questions about the financial viability of the agreement. Moore is good at hiding our kind trafficking. He's one of them, after all. Tell me what happened. Everything was going as planned until 11.10 p.m. The prince's child, Miss Sellers, contacted me. The Hartford Warlocks had just arrived. That's the last time we heard from any of them. Less than 20 minutes later, we received the code red, just as we were leaving to join them. And you're the one who received the code red? Personally, it arrived directly here. It's authentic. I verified it. Anything that could be of interest to the prince? I'm working on it. Jara Drury is the expert, not me. If only she was here. Any sign of Jara? Nothing at all. And that's not good. According to the protocol, she should have been there early. If they got hit, she would have been first in line. Any word from Hartford? Do you think it's them? It would be ill-fated. I knew we should never have trusted those damn warlocks. Any movement with the Anarchs? As usual, they're keeping their distance. You know it's always a pain in the ass to locate them. There's one thing we haven't considered. The Crimson Oaks. What's that? It's a new outfit that came to town a while ago. But they're very discreet. Okay. It's not much. Yeah, just a gut feeling, but I could be wrong. Leave no stone unturned. Hello. You. 
It's about damn time. Shit. What? You're... Hello? Damn it! I lost them. Who was it? Whoa. Shit. Now it's just ringing. What did he say? The party was indeed attacked. Apparently it was a real bloodbath. He and James had just enough time to get more out. They're stopping by his place to pick up some sensitive documents. And then what? Are they coming here? I don't know. We got cut off. Call him back. I'll inform Hazel. This is a critical moment for us. I have summoned you here tonight to organize our reaction to an imminent threat. What threat exactly? We've got no reason yet to Cut think- Cut her off again and I'll slit your throat. Oh, excuse me. Careful, Hazel. How dare you speak to me like that? Enough. You... I command you to be silent and listen to me. Oh, so that's how it is. That's enough, Beryl. Yes, it's come to this. You would do well to listen to your sire. We have just been attacked. This is not a time for childish displays of discontent. Galeb, the Code Red was sent by Wu. Go to Moore's and find out what's going on. As you wish. And bring Moore back to me. He was supposed to be at the party. I don't understand why he's the only one who was able to call us. I would like to speak to him very much. Consider it done. I trust you. He might be involved in this. So gather any documents you can find there that could tie us to him. Very well. Delson, see if you can get Caius to find us a new middleman in the cane business to manage our interests. I don't want to take any chances. Then I want you to talk to everyone. Somebody must have seen or heard something. Dajon, make sure all our defenses are in place. Yes, Hazel. M.M., you will go to the old Jefferson Library. What's there? That's where the Hartford Chantry calls home here. I gave them the building so they could have a base in Boston. I demand to take her place. Request denied. What game are you playing, Hazel? It's a suicide mission. It's all right. I got this. I'm not made of sugar. She's not ready for this kind of mission. I should go with her, at the very least. No, you will remain here. Emem goes alone. Why don't you send Dajan instead? Enough, Hilda. Dajan has work to do elsewhere, and I don't need to explain myself. Hazel, if anything happens to her, I'll- Nothing, Hilda. You'll do nothing. It's high time you learned to trust her. Which one of us are you planning to send to the party? She's already left. What? Who? I sent Laisha. Are you serious? A few hours ago, she was snoozing behind locked doors in a psych ward. You're playing a dangerous game, Hazel. Without us, you would never have come into power. You've chosen the worst possible moment to turn your back on us. On the contrary, I find this moment very appropriate. I am the Prince of Boston, and you are the Primogen. I owe you nothing. Delson, escort them out. The session is adjourned. You all have your instructions. 